snow fort, uh, igloo. So, um, yeah, wolf hunting, um, about 50, 60 yards away from gonna get some sleep and be up pretty early to start calling and uh, yeah go from there I'm gonna see if I can show you the inside here there's just the carpet door this plywood a couple beams Little heater we haven't used yet. Just a backpack and chair. Everything else is just tucked away. Or propane just in case. But yeah, we've got some three viewing ports there. So yeah. And if I hear anything in the middle of the night, I'll uh, toss this back on. And uh, yeah, might get some howling or something. So. Yeah, this is a first though. This is this is pretty cool. Well, morning. Got a couple things packed up, and uh, yeah, nothing nothing came through in the night. Didn't hear anything. Didn't see anything. And same with this morning. It's been super quiet. Super super quiet. Beautiful day. There's the paints out there. Just got the heater going, take the chill off the hands. But, uh, yeah. It was beauty, beautiful night. Slept great. <laughs> cool. Very cool. We are out here. I'm just going to, uh, set this up. Got my bait just over here. And uh set up a trail cam. Beautiful day. <sighs> Got the bait there. Camera right there, or will be, and then that point over there. So I'll have to come in, loop all the way around that back shore, shoreline, come in, park in the other side, and uh, go from there. But look at this terrain. Wow. And uh, that's where I baited before. See, I walked up, but oh, beautiful! Feels good to be out here again. So I'm gonna set that trail cam up and uh, oof, minus 27 today. She's cold. Set the trail cam up and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, got that set up there. Just did a mound of snow. Hopefully that does the trick. Gonna get set back up here and go show you where I used to bait. And uh, it was right here. There was a wolf around, and he. Uh, I walked in from that point off my sled, and uh, he was just sniffing something on the ground and uh, took a couple shots, but he was he was long gone. He, but actually, I, I raised the. The rifle but my bolt when it's on my back the bolt slowly comes undone so it was actually in the up position so i went to go shoot and there was nothing the trigger was just soft 
Oh, but oh well, I'll never forget that moment. <laughs> Anyways, check back in in a sec here. Set you down for a sec here, get my gloves on. Ooh, it's cold. Okay. So I used to walk in from this point here. And I walk along the shoreline and I'd walk up. I guess get this turn. And walk up here. Feels so good to be back. So good. And uh, so you got my baits right here. And I'm gonna go up in elevation a little bit. You can see there's been sun tracks. Lots of rabbit. I'll try not to fall and break my face. Oh, goodness. Imagine logging 50, 100 pounds of bait up this little slough or slough, whatever you want to call it. And creek down there. And there's a creek down here. And this uh, is where I was last year. There it is. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I was sitting right behind that overturned tree but oh yeah this is beauty absolutely beautiful oh. feels so good to be back oh lots of hours spent out here but uh about it I'm going to uh, head over and I'll show you where I'm gonna sit for uh, sit on a bait and call and all that stuff so check back in in a sec here so just back where I'll be sitting call from over here a loop all the way around Pretty much right when I get to that island, I'll come in, I'll park like down in this area here where I'm walking. So my sled will be in around here. Look at all the rabbit tracks, this is nuts. And then come up and I'll break all these branches like anything that I can poke my eye on, I'll break off to my height. And uh, so yeah, kind of bushy in here right now, but it's actually not too bad. See, I already walked through here. You can already smell that bait, oh my gosh. And yeah, there's quite a few little areas I can sit, but thinking there's enough trees here these ones this one that's broken and this one here this big one but there's my bait out there so it's about um like 220 yards or so. Um, and I'll just come in and I'll be right, like my, my, like I'll be, these are my feet here. This will be my blind and I'll clean up all this brush. So I just have a nice shooting lane and I'll clean up this over here 
and uh yeah go from there why not right and uh yeah that just goes down this is the other side of it tons of rabbit tracks geez but yeah i kind of want to have all this available and not so much not so much over here but all this so yeah exciting <sighs> hello Ricky just left. I got, uh, <laughs> you can't even see it. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, you can't see it yet. Come up here through the bush. A little bit of clean up here today. Gotta make all these sure I'm not breaking branches. Come through. <laughs> that is hilarious. That's awesome. Come in. <sighs> Look at those tracks. Yeah, bud. And that's the bait. Right there. And I got another window. Here. A couple things I got. So, yeah. And, uh, so bait's right here or one of them, and uh, probably on Friday night I'll come back out, I'll bait over here, just so they can feed two different areas, and uh, the crows get at her, but not bad, we'll see, I mean, this is uh, all just, you know, just trying, trying new stuff, um, but, yeah, I mean, can't hardly, I mean, you can see it from this angle, but come out to my sled. Oh, Houdini. And I won't park here. Park. I'll loop, loop all the way around. Well, come from this way. I'll go all the way that far shoreline. All the way, all the way, all the way. Park down there, walk in, into the blind. We'll have a heater in there. I mean, you can't even see it. Look at now those tracks aren't very big. It might be a coyote or a fox, but there's some wolf tracks going up here. But you can't see that at all a little bit there but not much going around the front side you can kind of see it there but really that's it's broken up it's broken up pretty good and uh It's uh, funny though, because pretty sure they they're coyotes, and they've pushed they pushed into the bush right beside, and they're using my sled tracks, which is good, and uh, a couple of bigger tracks. But it snowed overnight; like those are pretty small, very small. But a couple of bigger ones over on that sled trail there. I come join in. And there's there's animal tracks coming from all over that shoreline coming in. So I'm just gonna let this sit tight and marinate and let the birds do their work and oh go from there. Hope everyone's having a lovely day.